Battle Creek Community Foundation and Pine Rest are proud to be sponsors of Where You Live. Parenting young children can be difficult, especially during a pandemic. And we are seeing that parents are stressed out. We all are. And we brought in our friend Allison from Pine Rest to help us out. Hello, Allison. Hello. So what are you seeing with the, the folks you work with at Pine Rest? Uh, what are we experiencing? I, I just see that parents are getting to the point where they, they just don't know what to do next. So we want to give them some strategies of, you know, what can they do? What do they have control over to then be an example to their kids? Um, so there's a lot of ways we can do that and how, how, what do we have control over as adults? And that's what we want to encourage parents that it's not, it's not the end, you still have hope. You can, you can do this. Um, so we have some strategies for that. What are some of those strategies? Because we're dealing with so many uncertainties. We think we have things buttoned up and then the next thing hits. So what are some strategies to cope with all of this unpredictable uh, series of events? We want to start with the basics. So some people might think, okay, we got this in check, but let's think about, are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating healthy or somewhat healthy? Are you getting movement in the day? Um, what's your time spent on social media or cell phone? And you might be looking at your child and thinking they need to do that better but we need to do that better as adults to be an example too. So that's that's the first place to start, all those basic needs um, to start there. How do we manage the anxiety we feel when we're, we have the week planned out and then everything gets mixed up, whether it's uh, school has closed down or people are in quarantine or we're not sure we should be doing this sport or that sport. How do we manage that? I really encourage families to make sure that their interaction with their kids is not only about the things that need to be done. So don't always talk about school. Don't always talk about the chores that need to be done. Make sure that your conversations, your interactions with them are fun and intentional time together. I think that's a really important thing for kids to just know that they're worth spending time with one another so that then the anxiety about all these other things that we have to get done, um, they will get done. But if you're having fun together, you enjoy one another's company and you aren't just always fighting, I think that's a good place to start um, because I know the fights and arguments about school or chores are top on the list of difficulties for families. And you know, as you described that, as if we're having fun together, if we're just doing something without structure or expectation, I think it's a win for everybody. Oh yes, yep. I think that kids finally see like, oh, okay, I don't have to take everything seriously and not everything has to be stressful. Um, so parents take the lead on that. What's your number one piece of advice for any adult watching who is feeling just a lot of anxiety about raising kids right now? Man, I think that when you think about kids and um, what they need from adults in their life, they just need you. They need your attention and relationships. So I just say to parents, really just think about how can you show up for your kids today? How can you appreciate and recognize them um, and know that they actually just want you. They don't, they don't need the things, they don't need all the fun in the world, they just need you. Um, so just give them your love. It's beautiful. It sounds so simple, but we need to remember it and practice it. Allison, thank you so much and keep up the good work at Pine Rest. Thanks.